Hello guys, think about this. What if as a student, a bachelor's, master's or PhD or even a researcher, you get an assistant, not just an assistant but the world's best research assistant who is able to find the most advanced and relevant papers for your research, saving you hours of hard work. This assistant is also able to help you effortlessly organize your research papers into a smart library. And the most creative part, this assistant is able to generate comprehensive literature review with line-by-line -line citations in minutes. Well, you don't have to think about this. I got a solution for you and that is AnswerThis.io. AnswerThis is an AI tool that can help you simplify your research, help you search and get useful literatures as well as help you carry out a comprehensive literature review. Imagine accelerating your research with over 200 million sources for credible research data. Interestingly, you can try it out for free. When you log in into your answerdays.io dashboard, this is what you are going to find. You are going to see a button right here, chat with PDF and with this you can upload your PDF and instantly get answers from that PDF. So with this, you can upload as many research papers and prompt your research papers or ask questions and get useful answers from the paper. The papers you upload are going to be stored into your library. Another feature is the extract data and with this, you can upload PDFs as well and automatically pull out key information and statistics from the document. Another feature of answer this is the search papers and with search papers, you are able to assess millions of research papers across various disciplines with a powerful search engine. You just have to type in the title of whatever you are searching for and hit on the search button. Another button here is the ask answer this. You are going to see right here prompt helper. If you don't know what to prompt, you can click on the prompt helper to help you out. Or you can just ask a question or inquiry right here or even upload PDFs and you are going to get answers to whatever you are searching for. And in most cases, these answers are accurate because answer this is going to search over 200 million research papers to get you the right and accurate answer. You can see examples of prompts that you can search for right here. If you come over to the left hand menu, you can see new right here to start a new project. You can click on review to carry out a literature review and library you can find all the papers or pdf that you have uploaded you can use the search button to carry out a search and editor is a place where you can edit documents and do your writing and on that project you can find different projects that you have started before we continue i would like to say this when it comes to research you must use ai in an ethical manner you have to use tools like this to complement your work and not rely solely on them and you must make sure to confirm and cross-check every information you get from any AI tools, including this one. And this is very important, especially if you are using the literature review uh, feature. Let's go into that. Because this tool can practically give you a full literature review on any topic you ask it to. And all you just have to do is type in your question or the prompt right here. This is actually one of the ways this particular tool answer this stand out when compared to similar tools. So let's try it out. Right here, I'm going to type in write a review, or let's say write a literature review on the impact of climate change. After typing in my question, I'm going to click on this arrow symbol right here and it opens up a filter. So right here, it is asking what is the answer type that I want. So in this case, the first one is structured literature review. And this is a strict literature review mode that provides structured citation rich answers. Okay, so the next one is the dynamic research assistant. And for this, it's an interactive mode with citations and research contest useful for finding research gaps research questions, etc. Okay, nice. Um, then the last one is the AI only, which is a very fast, no citation. So we don't want that. Um, let's stick with the structured literature review. And then for the next question, minimum citation. Okay, we want a lot of citations. 
um, let's say the minimum should be 10 and then there's also the toolbar mode for the toolbar mode if you activate it it's going to provide faster results but it may reduce the comprehensiveness so um, let's not activate this let's get the best out of this one interesting aspect is that you are also allowed to choose the database you want the the ai tool to search however in this case let's just stick with research papers you can also filter the publication dates of the research papers you want it to include that is quite interesting so you can um, put the start date and the end date if you want recent this is important if you want only recent um, publications to be cited so you can easily put that right here so there's another option right here which is double check citations so you can easily enable double checking of citations but this will increase the processing time but it improves the citation accuracy which is another very important feature of this particular ai2 um, for this video i'm not going to include this because this would increase the time it takes for me to get the result and now the last part is the custom sessions so if you want it to talk about if you already have an art line that you want to be uh, included in your literature review so you can easily enter the names of the art line right here you can use the plus button right here to add a new um, session this is very important so that it talks about what you actually wanted to talk about but if we're not doing that like in this particular case i'm just going to click on the submit search so in that case the ai2 is going to give us the sessions by itself so i'm going to click on submit search and it is going to carry out a comprehensive literature review it's going to take some time anyway as you can see first it is going to gather the sources and then it's going to analyze the key team and synthesize the information and compile the results so i'm going to give it some time and come back to you once it is ready so guys our result is ready let's take a look at it together first i'm going to scroll down so that we take a look at the length let's see if we can increase this okay yeah we can do that so let's scroll down and see the length of this you can just estimate the length so you can see it is actually very lengthy and down here you can see the citations um all the references are down here let's see how many it is it's a lot we have um, about 44 references and you can easily copy these references as well another thing you would notice is that there's a lot of references within as well which is cited in line so a lot of inline references as you can see a lot of them most of the lines are referenced now remember what i said earlier it is very important that you use this ethically you cannot just take this out and submit and say okay i have generated a, a, a literature review on climate change that would be very very unethical before i give you my advice or tips on how you can continue with this let's take a look at the right hand side on the, on the right, right hand side you can see the sources so there are different sources you can decide to sort them um, with this or you can put all or just if you're looking at the pdfs only the pdfs or you can decide to search but all the sources that have been referenced in the work has been kept on the right hand side so if you come down you can decide to change the referencing style right here to apa or whichever uh, you can also decide to export them to csv or to bib test and if you come down you're going to find the references each of them as you can see right here you can decide to chat them so you can chat with the paper or you can save this particular paper to library to your library so this is another paper so you can see all of them right here if you come to the very bottom you are going to see the different pages the amount of pages available so this is just page one of six so you can go to the next page and look at the papers so my advice is that you use this as a guide to write your literature review make sure you look at the references for example if you click on one right here it takes you to the reference if you click on two 
it takes you to the reference on the right hand side you must make sure you go into that particular paper and confirm that it is accurate for the particular test that it has been referenced to and i would advise you write your literature review using this as a guide and including the references when accurate so this is definitely going to save you time that you would have used to search for these references or even start from scratch now the good thing is that this ai2 is free forever as you can see right here however um, it is limited limited features so for the free plan you can get six total literature review you can get eight documents uploaded and you also have line by line citations you can export results and you can search for papers however i would recommend the pro plan which i am currently using with just 22 dollars you are able to get unlimited literature reviews unlimited documents upload you get line by line citation you can export your results you can search for papers and then you also get the ai writer you also get the library and with this you can save your papers and you can also track your projects i think this is going to be sufficient but if you want more you can check out the enterprise if you'd like to try out this ai too i'll leave the link to answer this in the youtube video description you can also get a 10 percent discount if you use the coupon code eugene when checking out let me know if you're going to try this too and i'll see you in my next video